guys, I've got something really super um, quick and simple for you today. We're going to be making this really quick multiplying um, program so that when I run it, what it'll do is it'll ask me what times tables do I want to know. So uh, let's say I want to do my nine times table and let's say I want to go up to 10. It actually generates for me my times tables up to the second number that I put in. So I'll just run it again for you guys. So I'll do the same, so if I want my seven times table and I want it to go up to the number seven, there we go, it goes all the way up to seven. So that's what we're working on now and uh, we're gonna get started right now. So you just need to open up um, idle and we're just gonna start with a blank Word document, like we, uh, blank idle document like we always do. I'm just gonna save this before I get started and I'm just gonna call it uh, times tables dot, dot, uh, dot py. Okay, so all I'm going to do, um, I'm going to develop this is just using a little for loop. So we're first of all going to define a, a procedure and we're going to call it a multiply. Um, it won't actually take anything, but we could eventually kind of generate this to actually take something here. And then um, what it's going to do is it's going to first of all, um, ask our user for a for an amount. So what this is going to do is going to generate a times table for them. So it's going to we're going to start with um, the asking for an amount. So we're going to go um, amount equals int input, and we're going to say what times tables would you like to know? Let's call that. Um, Let's call that uh, times table actually. Okay, so that's the first one there. And the second thing, we'll actually call this one amount, and then we're going to say int input. How, uh, what number would you like to go up to? So it's just going to go, basically it's gonna take this number here and it will sort of, uh, if I say I wanna do my five times tables up to 10, I'm gonna put five in here and I wanna go up to 10, it'll go round my loop 10 times basically. So now that I've got both of those things, I just need to very quickly put in a for loop and I can do it straightforward. So I'm gonna do for x in a range and the range that I want, I wanna start at one and I wanna go up to the amount plus one. So the amount they put, so the four loops in Python work in the fact that this number, it's gonna start at this number and it goes up to this number, but it doesn't include it. So if my user wants to go up to 10, say, uh, at the moment this would say 10, but it would only ever print out nine. So once it hits that 10, it won't execute the for loop. So it doesn't include that part in the range. So we're just gonna plus one to the end of it so that, um, so that we could do it. We could have done it here in the variable as well, but we'll just do it in the for loop. So this is gonna go round now and it's, to and it's gonna include that top amount that the user wanted. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take a total and that is going to equals X, which is in my for loop, times by, times by the times table variable okay so x starts at one for my for loop and goes all the way up to and including the amount so the first time round on this this is going to be one times let's say my user put in five so this is going to be one times five it's going to go around two times five three times five four times five all the way up to and including the amount that they put in now we just want to print something out really simple for the user to be able to actually uh, see what's going on so we're going to print, and uh, we are going to print um, the times table variable, and then like a big X, and then we're going to print our X variable, and then an equal symbol, and then we are going to print our total. Okay, so all these three here, so we've got the times table, the number that they've put in here, times whatever I'm up to in X, so it's gonna be five times one, then five times two, then five times three, and then the uh, the total variable here, which is worked out in the for loop there. So let's actually have a look at this and see if it works. 
so it's not working at the moment because I haven't called it. Um, so I could have called it there in the uh, in the IDE, but I'm going to just do it here. So it's multiply. It's called. Doesn't take any arguments. And let's try that again. So what times tables would you like to know? Let's do uh, seven times tables, and let's say I want to go up to ten. So there we go. It automatically generates them for us all the way up to 10. Let's see if it does anything. It should work with um, uh, minus numbers as well. Actually, it might not work with minus numbers. Um, so if I do, uh, let's just uh, do another one. Times. Let's just try like 21, say for example. So it goes past and it keeps on going there for us and keeps generating it. Okay, so a nice simple one for you guys today. Um, so have a little look at that. Let me know how you get on. I'll leave the code in the GitHub for you. I hope you're all doing well and I'll catch up with you next week.